Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, um, February 15th, 2022. I am in my Love Language Minute. I've got a change of scenery. Harley's decided she wants to be outside, so I thought, you know what? I'll just bring my laptop down and do, do my devotions out here by the water. It's, it's a beautiful morning. Beautiful morning. Chilly, but it's okay. It's, I'll take this over snow any day of the week. So, Love Language Minutes. Today's title is Intellectual Intimacy. My heart has heard you say, come and talk with me. And my heart responds, Lord, I am coming. Psalm 27, verse 8. Most of us got married not because we wanted someone to help us cook meals, wash dishes, maintain the car, and rear children. Rather, we married out of deep desire to know and to be known, to love and to be loved, and to have genuinely intimate relationship. How does this lofty goal become reality? It helps to look at the five essential components of an intimate relationship, which we'll do in the next few days. First is intellectual intimacy. So much of life is lived in the world of the mind. True that. Throughout the day, we have hundreds of thoughts about life as we encounter it. We also have desires, things we would like to experience or obtain. Intellectual intimacy comes from sharing some of these thoughts and desires with our spouse. These may focus on finances, food, health, current events, music, or church. Whether or not they're important in and of themselves, these thoughts and desires reveal something about what has gone on in our mind throughout the day. Psalm 27 verse 8 describes a way to increase our intimacy with God by responding when he invites us to talk with him. The same principle applies to human relationships. In marriage, we have the pleasure of learning some of the inner movements of our spouse's mind. That is the essence of intellectual intimacy. And you know what? Something else. At what point do you just fall out of love with someone? I mean, how can you honestly love someone and just don't love them anymore? Like, a, like you flip a switch? That's not healthy. Because when you love someone, it's engraved in your heart. You don't lose that. No matter what happens. No matter what disagreement you have. No matter what. When do people forget about that? They just flip the switch. You're not dating anymore, so not love you anymore. It's not how it works. It's not how he works. Father, thank you for wanting to talk to me and hear from me. I know that conversation builds relationships. Help me to share my thoughts freely with my loved one and listen carefully to his or her thoughts as well. And instead of sharing them with you because I don't have a plus one. He is my plus one. Can't go wrong with that. That's for sure. So, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hope you enjoyed my video. I've got more coming up. Stay tuned. Bye. See you later. Love you.